can I talk then uh, about another element with, uh, to get you to discuss your vision? Um, this may not be germane to the work you're doing, but, I'm, but you, are, uh, you are one of the great thinkers. Um, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Pros and cons. We've heard um, yeah. people talk about the great benefits. We've heard about disrupting and changing and leaving off us all in, yeah. in a jobless society. We've heard uh, autonomous weapons are a disaster. Yeah. Where do you fall on, the, uh, on your vision of where in artificial intelligence is going to go? And also um, some of the, I think, some of the more cautionary and also some yeah. of the benefits there. Well, um, you mentioned a few things there. Each of those is worth visiting because they're different. I think autonomous weapons are extremely scary. Um, I think it's a big, and you, by the way, do not need um, general AI. So right now, the things that we know how to do, you, would, you should think of those things as what is called narrow AI, um, things like machine vision and so on. To build incredibly scary autonomous weapons, you do not need general AI. The techniques that we already know and understand are perfectly adequate. And these weapons, some of the ideas that people have for these weapons are, in fact, very scary. Um, and so I don't know what the solution to that, but smart people need to be thinking about that, doing a lot of R&D. Is, is there a kind of uh, you know, multi, uh, it'd have to be a big treaty like the Geneva Convention or something that would help regulate these weapons because you, it, they're actually, uh, they have a lot of issues. So that one, I think, is genuinely scary. The idea that there's going to be a general AI overlord that subjugates us or kills us all, I think, is not something to worry about. I think that is overhyped. Um, I, uh, uh, I'm, first of all, we don't know, we're nowhere close to knowing how to build a general AI, something that could set its own objectives. We have no idea. We, we don't even, it's not even hardly, it's, it's not even a valid research area. We're so we're so far back on that one. Um, so that's a, I think that's a very long-term prospect that it could even happen. But second of all, I think it's unlikely that such a thing's first instincts would be to exterminate us. Um, it seems, that would seem surprising to me. Maybe I unemploy us. Much more likely it will help us, you know, because um, uh, you know, we're perfectly capable of hurting ourselves. You know, maybe we could use some help. Um, so I'm optimistic about that one and certainly don't think we need to worry about it today. And then the jobless, you know, are we going to, is AI going to put everybody out of work? I am not worried about this. I, I, I find that people, all of us, I include myself, we are so unimaginative about what future jobs are going to look like and what they're going to be. You know, if I took you back in time a hundred years, when, every, when almost everyone was a farmer. And I told, you know, we're, have, we're at some big farming convention or something, and I say, in the year 2018, there is gonna be a job occupation called massage therapist. <laughs> they would not have believed you. <laughs> and in fact, I was telling this story to a friend, and they said, Jeff, forget massage therapist, there are dog psychiatrists. <laughs> And I, I went, I you went. You probably find one on Amazon. I went and looked that up on the internet. Sure <laughs> enough, you, you can easily hire a psychiatrist for your dog. And so, what you know, there is, um, we're, we, 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 we humans like to do things, and we like to be productive, and we will figure out things to do, um, and we will use these tools to make ourselves more powerful. And and in fact, what I predict is that jobs will get more engaging. Yes. Because you have to remember, you know, a lot of the jobs today are, are quite routine. Um, they are not necessarily uh, anybody's, as I said before, career or calling. And so I predict that because of um, artificial intelligence and its ability to automate certain tasks that in the past were impossible to automate, that not only will we have a much wealthier civilization, but that the quality of work will go up very significantly and that a higher fraction of people will have callings and careers relative to today.